שלום עליכם. Yesterday night some uh, random person sent me an email with a link to a video that was uh, created eight months ago and uh, it's one of a long series of videos that some crazy rabbi is uh, from the US is pushing his students to make and they made this whole campaign of editing my videos cutting them to pieces and taking out the words that they want to use against me to create a certain uh, theme as if I am teaching and preaching against Torah serving against learning Torah against believing in an innocent way in Hashem and it's amazing how much you can do with this uh, technology that was given to our generation so first of all to warn you from that um, crap and second to understand how vicious and cruel the evil inclination can be to go and to attack a person with his own weapon think about all the great love that I put into your hearts on how much you are worthy to serve Hashem and how much Hashem loves you and how close you are to the Torah and that's the main thing that I'm doing with you with my followers with my students and then the Yetzirah the evil inclination is dressing itself in some pathetic person that unfortunately became a vessel for that dark power and to put into the hearts of his students as if I'm a heretic and as if I'm doing things against the Torah and waking up those dark people unfortunately those wrong people to fight against someone that except for revealing Torah secrets and revealing new paths and wonderful ways on how to come closer to Hashem and how to believe in yourselves. If for an example I'm saying that just to be religious and just to follow and obey the rules of the Torah is not the right way and a person should do it with the heart so they will edit that part with the heart out of my video and will say that I'm like they will edit that part to like express as if I'm saying don't be religious don't keep the Torah it's not a good thing for you and they will cut out that part that I'm saying unless you do it with a heart it's crazy it's very unfortunate and I know that they made a horrible damage that damaged really thousands of people that were influenced by their Lashon Ra, the filthy thought talks and and filthy energy that they created around me and around my holy and righteous students honest and sincere followers but this is unfortunately one of the wars wars of our generation and um, and I'm sorry for that so May Hashem see our sorrow and our pain. But you should know that, thank God, nothing of those um, negative actions are hurting our process because as it's written on the people of Israel that when their enemies are attacking them, so according to how strong the enemies are attacking the people of Israel the people of Israel are growing stronger as much as the ones that are trying to narrow their path are hitting them according to that they will grow and expand so it's a rule of nature that all those dark forces are only without even knowing protecting us and helping us to grow and to establish the holy roots of Hashem's will into the hearts of the innocent people and I can only pray to Hashem to 
protect the followers, the innocent followers who are desiring Torah, not to fall in the trap of that spider web that, uh, that, that is being made by poor and pathetic people that probably don't have real um, ideas and inspiration to talk about inspiring things in their classes so they need to bring other people to the to the table and start discussing them instead of talking about Hashem and the connection to Hashem they will try to sabotage a life work of an honest person that is me because I know I'm honest and to try to cut honest people from following the truth and finding themselves and it will seem to them as if they're keeping the biggest mitzvah like Korach and his group over 200 chief rabbis were supporting Korach the heads of all the Jewish courthouses they were all following Korach to argue and to fight with Moshe Moshe was honest and sincere and just tried to do the best for his people. And Korach, that was a genius, that was so talented and wise and had a great potential. But he fell into that trap of jealousy because of his own unfortunate situations in his life and allowed himself to go and fight with the source of light, with the source of light that was shining in his generation. And this poor guy in the US, finding himself doing the same thing to himself and to the public that are following him. And I can just hope that less and less will listen to his pathetic message, that they will not find themselves burning in the same place with Korach and his group. It's very unfortunate, but the show must go on, and we will, and our light will shine forever, because the honest light of Hashem will shine for good. And with that positive slash hopeful line, we'll go to make the world a better place in the next step of our lives. Blessings to you and to all your loved ones. Amen.